Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Star Wars Out of the Box with me, Dill Streep. Each week I look at an old Star Wars item of mine. It could be a toy, a book, a random piece of memorabilia. I'll review the item, discuss its place within Star Wars and what it means to me. So this item's been on my bookshelf for a long time and I haven't actually had a chance to look through it yet, which between you and me is going to be the case for a lot of my Star Wars books. But anyway, let's get into it. It's the Star Wars cookbook, Wookiee Cookies and Other Galactic Recipes. Yes, that's right, it's the Star Wars cookbook, Wookiee Cookies and Other Galactic Recipes. And let's be honest, they realized Wookiee and Cookie rhyme and made a book out of it. I haven't looked through it properly, but I imagine puns like Wookiee Cookies, Yoda, Goda, and uh, Ham Solo will be the kind of things we find in here. Oh, it's got a strange texture. Each page is kind of laminated and bound, as if to say, go nuts, make a mess, you can always wipe it clean. Okay, there's a table of contents, but I'm not going to look at that because I feel like that'll give away some of the surprises. Introduction. Okay, this is for young children. Be careful, respect the mysteries of the force. Never run in the kitchen. Dry your hands, wash knives. Be aware. Never leave the kitchen while something is cooking on the stove or in the oven. Never? I made a seven hour slow cooked roast lamb the other day. All right, breakfast. Seems like a good place to start. We've got Princess Leia Danish stews. Okay, because her hair kind of looks like Danishes. That's good. C3PO <laughs> pancakes. <laughs> Already on the second recipe, they've given up on tying it to something. C-3PO pancakes. That actually reminds me of a very funny video on the loudest podcast channel, Admiral Akbar's snack bar. But don't forget about our breakfast treats. Darth Marlowe's, Django Fettos, Mace Windu-O's, Sebulba-O's, Dexter Jetstero's, Watto-O's. Queen Amidala's decoyos and C three P flakes. So come on down to Admiral Akbar's snack bar, where the prices are so low you think it's a kind of trap. Gets me every time. Ooh la, French toast. Okay, that seems good. Her name's kind of French. Aha, twin sun toast. Now that's cool. Tatooine is a hot desert planet located in the outer reaches of the galaxy. It is home to young Luke Skywalker, who would sometimes gaze dreamingly at the planet's twin suns. I could see myself making that. Eggs look a bit overdone. Moss Isley morsels. Okay, so there's alliteration, and they've got a picture of a land speeder. Beverages. Hoth chocolate. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Skywalker smoothies. <laughs> the picture of him swinging over them. Jawa Jive milkshakes. Okay. Now that is a waste. If you haven't put a blue milk in here, but instead gone with Jawa milkshakes, I don't know if the person who wrote this has seen a lot of Star Wars. Yoda soda. That's good. Jedi Master Yoda levitates Luke's X-Wing from the Dagobah swamp in The Empire Strikes Back. Here he peacefully levitates a frothy glass of Yoda soda. Mm. Snacks and sides. Dark side salsa. Ewok eats. No. Not having that. The Force Fruit Fun. Nope, not happy. Tuscan Raider Taters. I can abide by Tuscan Raider Taters because I do like when people call potatoes taters. And also the fact that they've got a Tuscan Raider here standing on a mound of mash is not hurting the cause. Jabba Jiggle. This green fruity treat wiggles and jiggles just like Jabba. Nice little bit of fat shaming there. Jedi juice pops. All right, main courses. This is where it gets good. Greedos burritos. Brilliant. Don't know what these have to do with Greedo. It just looks like a normal burrito. I guess if he's really hungry, he'd be greedy Greedos burritos. Han burgers. I called it, basically. Obi-Wan kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, they were so close. Galaxy Grilled Cheese, no, very lazy. Boba Fettuccine, now that's what I'm talking about. 
crazy cantina chili. Actually, this genuinely just looks like a really good recipe for a chili. I think I might try that. Thai fighter ties. All right, now we've moved into the food looking like stuff. I mean, it doesn't look good, but a breadstick wrapped around a bit of a sausage. At least it looks Star Wars-y. I know this would have come out long before the sequel trilogy, but don't they kind of look like roasted porgs? Desserts already. Darth Vader dark chocolate sundaes. Wookie cookies. The reason this book exists. This one's definitely about the rhyme, because the only thing we ever saw Chewbacca interested in eating in the original trilogy was that carcass on Endor, and I doubt one of the ingredients is indistinguishable carcass. Basque brownies. I could go for some Basque brownies, and they've done a good job selling the scene too, with the general down below. Brownie hunters. We don't need that kind here. Death Star popcorn balls. Love it. Like the Empire's deadly Death Star, making popcorn balls can be very dangerous. Do not dare to make them without the help of an adult. I'm 37 years old. Wampa snow cones. Luke was imprisoned by a ferocious wampa on the ice planet Hoth and held captive in the creature's frozen lair. Narrowly escaping with his life, some believe Luke also made off with the wampa's secret snow cone recipe. I don't think some do believe that. In fact, the wampa's also only ever shown eating indistinguishable carcass. While we're in the ice cave, I did have a point to bring up. When Luke reaches out to his lightsaber using the force to grab it, he hasn't even heard of Yoda yet. He's certainly not gone for any training. All we've seen is a bit of theory discussion with Obi-Wan and him managing to block a couple of shots with his blast shield down. I have no problem with this, but it does beg the question why people have such a bone to pick with characters like Rey or Sabine Wren who seemingly learn their force powers off screen. Very strange double standard. R2-D2 treats. R2 treat twos? R2-D2 never eats, or so it seems. These frozen treats were discovered in a freezer by an abandoned rebel base on Hearth. Did they belong to R2-D2? We can only guess. I hope not, they look freaking disgusting. What is that, a fish finger wrapped in Kit Kats? Sand Trooper Sandies. I don't know what Sandies are. I hope they haven't made them up for the sake of using Sand Trooper in the title. Also, the pictures of a regular stormtrooper. And they could have used blue milk in the background. Zero out of ten. Oh, that's it. Nope, I've got a second page of R2-D2 treats for some reason. And Sandy's. Ah, oh, here we go. A couple of stickers. Remember the days when you'd be excited about stickers? Use the fork, Luke. Give in to your dark cravings. I won't read the rest. So that's the Star Wars cookbook, Wookiee Cookies and Other Galactic Recipes. And what's interesting is that on the back, for the blurb, they've said, from C-3PO pancakes to Jedi juice pups, yada yada yada. Those are two of the least fun names that they've got in here. At least go with Boba Fettuccini, come on. Anyway, as a special treat, I'm going to prepare one of these recipes now. Check it out. Hi everyone, and welcome to my very first cooking segment on the show. As you can see, I'm rocking the Leia buns. Inspired by the Princess Leia Danish do's. However, the shop I went to didn't have Danishes, so these are just bread rolls. But I think the effect works. But today, as you've probably figured out, according to the ingredients, we're doing Skywalker smoothies. Luke definitely has the force on his side, but sometimes he gets an extra boost from these scrumptious smoothies. They've got a picture of one of those uh, Swole, Swole Wars action figures. He does look very tanked and the kind of Luke Skywalker that would just drink smoothies here on Earth. But Swole Walker. <laughs> Let's do it. One cup fresh or frozen berries, one banana, half a cup of fruit juice, and four ice cubes. If you're using fresh berries, cut off their stems with a knife. Put the fresh or frozen berries in a blender. Can do. Peel the banana, break into pieces and add them to the blender. Then add the fruit juice and ice cubes. One, two, three, four. So specific. Put the lid on the blender. Make sure it fits tightly. Turn on the blender first at low speed. I'm sorry, this only has one speed. Light speed. Blend until smooth and frothy. Pour into two glasses and serve immediately. I believe I'll only be pouring into one glass. The only glass that matters. And there we have it, Skywalker Smoothies. 
Let's have a little taste. It's actually quite good. <laughs> I'm such a shill. This would be thicker if all of the ice actually got crushed. I think I heard a whole block come out. Cheers. Brain freeze. Oh. <laughs> now I know what they felt like on hearth. It's so tart as well. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Star Wars Out of the Box with me, Dual Streep. If you enjoyed it, please give it a look, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, goodbye. It is the home to young Luke's it is the home it is home to young Luke Skywalker who would sometimes it is home to young Luke Skywalker who would sometimes gaze dreamingly at the It is home to young Luke Skywalker who would sometimes dream At least go with Bob at least go with Boba at least go with Boba Fettuccini. Come on.